we're asked to evaluate the sum given using sigma notation. We'll first determine the sum using the summation formula shown below, and then we'll check the sum on the T84. Let's begin by using the properties of sums and write this sum as two separate sums. The sum from j equals one and 20 of four j plus seven is equal to the sum from j equals one to 20 of four j plus the sum from j equals one to 20 of seven. And for the first sum, let's go ahead and factor out the four and write the sum as four times the sum from j equals one to 20 of j. And now take a look at our summation formulas below. The sum from i equals one to n of c, where c is a constant, is equal to n times c. And the sum from i equals one to n of i is equal to the product of n and n plus one divided by two. We will use these two formulas to find our sum. Notice for both of our sums, n is equal to 20. So four times the sum from j equals one to 20 of j is equal to four times the product of n and n plus one divided by two, which is 20 times the quantity 20 plus one divided by two, and then plus the sum from j equals one to 20 of seven is equal to 20 times seven. Let's go ahead and simplify here. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. This gives us two times 20 times 21 plus 20 times seven. Which is equal to 980. And let's go ahead and check this on the ET84. For sigma notation, press math, arrow up or arrow down to option zero for summation. Press enter. We don't have to use j, we can use any variable. I'm gonna go ahead and just use x. So x, then enter one, right arrow. The upper limit is 20, right arrow. And then we enter the formula. Because we use the variable x, we need to enter four x plus seven. And enter. And we get the same result, verifying our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.